In this lesson, we're going to be counting forwards and backwards by 100. First, before we begin, what we're going to do is we're going to draw three lines. These three lines are going to represent our place values. The first line all the way to the right is going to represent the ones digit the line in the middle, the tens digit, and the third line to the left is going to represent our hundreds digit. And now let's go ahead and count by 100. When we count by 100, what we're going to notice is that the only thing that's going to change is our hundreds digit. Everything else is going to stay exactly the same. So if we start with 57, we're going to add 100 to that and that's going to give us 157 because 100 plus 57 is equal to 157. If we add 100 to 157, the 1 in the hundreds place becomes a 2. So now we have 257. When we add 100 to 257, the 2 becomes a 3 and now we have 357. Now the 3 becomes a 4 and we have 457. 557 and 657. In the second example we're going to start off with 34. When we add 100 to 34 we're going to get 134. Then we add 100 to that we get 234. Then we get 334, 100 to that, we get 434, and finally, we would get 534. Now, in our last example, we're going to count backwards by 100. So, the exact same rules apply, but since we're going backwards, the numbers are going to get smaller, not bigger. So, 6 is going to become 5. So, we take away 100 from 657, we have 557. We take away 100 from 557, now we have 457. We keep going, next we have 357. After that, we get 257. 157 and finally 57. 